My niece, 4F, ruined my, 19M, anniversary present for my GF, 19F. I am not oop. Oop is you, art whiz in the snow. Originally posted to R, off my chest. My niece, 4F, ruined my, 19M, anniversary present for my GF, 19F. Trigger warnings. Property damage. Less than. Mood spoilers. All ends well. Less than. And NBSP. Original post October 6, 2023. My GF, 19F, and I, 19M, are celebrating our 5-year anniversary this Halloween. Every anniversary. She always gives me these impressive figurines that she makes. And it always blows me away. I always feel like my presents are always way lamer than her presents. So I decided to make her something this year. With guidance from her friends. I printed pictures of us onto a large canvas. And used white tape to make cute frames. I know it may not seem that impressive. But I'm not artistic. But she is and I wanted to make her something that I thought she would like. I had the gift hidden in a closet. The problem came whenever I looked after my sister. 33F. S kids. 4F. 5M. I took them down to the basement to do some painting. My niece walked away from the table to what I thought was the drawer with the art supplies. So I didn't think much of it. So, while I was focused on my nephew and gushing over how, he and his sister are the best artists in. The world, my niece went into the closet where my GF's present was and with her paintbrush. Painted all over it. The second I heard the door my head shot up. When I saw my niece over the canvas smudging paint all over it my heart sank. I took my niece out of the closet. Shoved the canvas back into the closet. Slammed the door shut. And carried her back to the table. I felt dead inside. My niece and nephew kept asking me if I was okay. I reassured them I was fine and ended up bringing them ice cream to convince them that everything was okay. When my GF came home, after I gave my nephew a bath, I asked her if she could give my niece a bath. She laughed at how she was covered in paint, and I joked that she went to town painting. While I was waiting for my GF and niece to finish, I watched cartoons with my nephew and started thinking about what I was going to do because nothing I could get her could possibly be good enough for our five year. And what I was going to give her was completely ruined. She deserves an amazing present. And I don't know what to do. I'm screwed. And NBSP. Relevant comments from Oop. Careful Ty 407. So what have you learned? Op. 1. If a kid wanders. Follow them. Even if it's in the same room too. My niece really loves to paint three. Hide the canvas somewhere else. Maybe in my GF's brother's closet. Careful Ty 407, so it wasn't a total loss. And lesson one and lesson two have a corollary rule follow wandering kids twice as hard if there is. Paint around. Or power tools. Ah. Luckily. We don't have power tools in our house. That is a good point. Her wandering could have brought her somewhere that wasn't a nearly empty closet. Good thing it was just a present harmed and not her. Despite what she did saddened me. She's just a kid and I still love her. And NBSP. Mr. Forkos. I think a cool consolation might be to do a painting class or date type of thing with her. She's artistic and you aren't but it might be really cool to her that you put yourself out of your comfort zone if you still want to do something for her after showing, explaining what happened. That's rough but you did good honestly. You put good thought in and consulted her friends to so you've deaf shown you care. Ah. Consulting her friends was not only because they know and care about my GF. But they are also artists. So I thought her artist friends would give great advice for what a non-artist can make. But still turn out really good. They did and NBSP. Update October 7th, 2023. I told my girlfriend as the few of y'all suggested. Later that day when my sister picked up her kids. 
I took her to the basement and to the closet to show her what my niece did. I explained that I've always felt like while she disliked the presents I give her. I feel bad because she puts so much effort into my presence. I explained to her what exactly I was trying to make. Luckily, my niece didn't cover the entirety of the canvas. And my girlfriend saw bits of the canvas. In particular a picture her friend took of us in the cafeteria in high school. With her with her head on my shoulder. She gushed about how sweet it was. And she suggested that we could turn this into an anniversary project. We could make another canvas. And maybe include some of her pictures. I told her how much of a great idea it was. And she was jumping with joy and excitement. Maybe I'll give y'all an update when my anniversary comes around. But for now, I'm excited for our little project. Let's be honest here. It's gonna turn out better with her help. And NBSP. Reminder this is a repost sub. I am not oop. Okay that's just adorable. Such a cute bunch. A heartwarming story was much needed after some of the posts here today. What a sweet kid. I needed that today. This is like the most wholesome thing I've seen. I always expect the worst with Boru. Not only is Oop a really good boyfriend, but he's a stellar uncle for keeping his cool and not letting the kids know how upset he was. This guy is a doll. I'm glad it all ended well but, as there were still over three weeks to go before the anniversary, I wonder why Oop didn't try to make a replacement. I'm guessing cost? They sound like a lovely couple. And Oop in particular sounds like a kind, empathetic uncle with a very level head. It's refreshing to see a young child unintentionally inflicts property damage BORU that doesn't involve disproportionately blowing up at the kid. I think the most important part is he didn't yell, rant, punish his niece. He realized it wasn't her fault and made sure she was okay. Props. On top of this being really sweet for all sorts of reasons. It was also just super refreshing to read a post that started with, the child of my relative ruined something of mine, and didn't end with, AITA for suing the parents and calling CPS and giving them the cut direct at all future family gatherings and now my phone is blowing up with flying monkeys. I'm not saying that some of the AITA posters aren't right in escalating the conflict. But it's so refreshing to be reminded that it isn't actually right every time and there are in fact other options. Go man, go. Ah. What? No drama? No screaming kids? No entitled parents? Are we still in the right sub? S. He should have scolded the niece. Not reassured her that it was perfectly fine to just paint over everything she finds for yo is. Plenty old enough to learn that not every piece of paper is for you to paint on. Sweet kid. But someone needs to tell him he's allowed to tell a kid he's sad. Like, oh no. That was my painting and now I'm a little sad it has your art on it too. But I'm not mad at you and we can paint more on your very own. Samantha. Paper. If you practice. We can do some art projects together on real artist canvases. Quote. God kids are a nuisance. Aw. Oh, he's a good guy. How he handled that with the kids was just so mature and level-headed. I'm so happy he didn't go ham on his niece though. So many times you see in this situation that the kid who didn't know what they were doing get verbally abused as an initial reaction. What a wholesome story all around. Not gonna lie I was really hoping the update would be, it actually looks awesome with the paint so. We're all good, lol. Ah this is lovely less than three they seem like a sweet couple. Exclamation mark. I hope they have a lovely five-year anniversary. 
This was still a great present because it came with vulnerability and honesty from you. She saw you put in the work and thought deeply about her and what you wanted to give her and how much it meant. Good lad you did great. Honestly, I'd love a collaboration between him and the kid. He sounds like such a great uncle and tbh I bet explaining what happened and saying, hey, I know I'm not an artist myself. So my niece decided to improve upon my idea with her natural talent, would be a hilarious way to present it. I'm so happy to hear he wants to make another one with just his gf. I'm an artist and my wife is a scientist and can't do crafts. According to her, but any time she draws me a silly picture I make sure to hang it on the fridge. I call it her art gallery. This is just so cute. I'm glad he told the GF and everything worked out. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.